morning y'all uh, it's about 19 minutes after 6 on Mother's Day happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there uh, reading some of the infallible text listening to a little uh, little music and uh, just trying to get right uh, in the right frame of mind um, miss all my friends from church on this Sunday um, but this uh, this is the next best thing. We're at the racetrack today uh, doing a little testing, God willing. Um, got some rain overnight, place is wet, but we'll get it dried out. We're gonna have a decent day today. Um, grace of God, that's what it's all about. Let me read you a little something. I just uh, prayed over the book and opened it up and uh, it doesn't always work out, but uh, this time it's uh, I open up to Matthew 5. And uh, the text says, um, let your light so shine forth before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. And um, man, every hair on my arms just stood up. Um, I won't get into why that's so, so meaningful to me, but it should be meaningful to you as well if you're a believer. Um, we live in trying times, folks. Things are uh, getting very weird out there. Nations dropping rockets and missiles and bombs on each other. And people say, well, that's been going on forever and ever, you know. The book tells us there will be scoffers and mockers making fun of me talking to you saying you know hey things are a lot worse than they were in the 90s or the 80s or the 70s uh, things are pointing to what this infallible text tells us is going to happen in those later days so just be prepared get your heart right if you aren't saved it's uh there's no secret to it it's not rocket science me personally um I didn't seek and study and, and, and have an epiphany or something. Um, God come right to me and called me in a very, I don't even know how to explain it, a very uh, uh, slap in the face kind of way. I mean, I was a dude uh, doing my thing, if you know what I mean. And uh, I was not seeking. I was happy with my life. Um, I wasn't looking for God. I wasn't looking for truth or answers or meaning to life or anything. And uh, he came and smacked me in the face and said, listen, it's time for you to make a choice. Um, and he allowed me to make that choice. And uh, I'll tell you, my life has been uh, a thousand times better and, and uh, 180 degrees different than it was. So um, I'm not going to go on. I'm going to do a little reading. Um, shortly, I got to take the uh, the gizmo down to the gate, and uh, there's nobody waiting out there yet. Like I said, it's about 22 after six now. It'll be about seven o'clock before anybody starts showing up, probably. But um, we'll go down and start letting the guys in. Not a very big group today, but um, again, um, this is the most important reason for me to be here today is uh, is is my relationship to the Lord and. Uh, Everything else we do here is secondary. God bless y'all. I'm praying for y'all uh, to my church family. I'm not going to be home for tonight's service either. So I'm going to miss the Saturday, Sunday, or uh, Saturday, or Sunday school, Sunday morning, Sunday evening service. And uh, that's a bummer. Thank goodness it's all recorded and I can go back and watch it. But it's not the same as watching it all with y'all live. Um, that's it. That's all I got for you. Um, keep your chin up. Keep looking up. Our Lord draweth nigh. God bless. Godspeed. We'll talk to you later.